as the severe weather continues. Yeah, even yesterday we were saying we're going to see winds gusting near 60 miles per hour for your Friday and the peak wind gusts would be between around 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. and they hit right on schedule. So let's take a look at your weather headlines for today. Now right now we have winds gusting near 60 miles per hour. It'll be breezy and cool later this afternoon as the winds will begin to diminish the warnings in effect until 4 p.m. Tonight light winds and chilly temperatures overnight lows back in the 30s. Look at these wind gusts. Wow, Buffalo 60 miles miles per hour at the airport, 55 miles per hour right now in Dunkirk. We have a 47 mile per hour wind gust in Niagara Falls. High wind warning in effect for most of Western New York until 4 p.m. for those winds gusting near 60 miles per hour. Uh, Allegheny County, you folks have a wind advisory in effect until 4 p.m. We also have the lakeshore flood warning in effect until 4 p.m. Areas along the Lake Erie shoreline will see the uh, lake waters rise rather rapidly. Of course, some big waves out there, and we could see some beach erosion and some flooding along the Lake Erie shoreline. Again, those flood warnings and the high wind warnings in effect until 4 p.m. We look at our seven super Dopplers, still some scattered showers. The metro area up toward Niagara Falls, back toward Batavia, northward into Orleans County. These showers are moving off toward the east. East, moving along an area of low pressure that's exiting to the east and uh, that's what's brought us the very strong winds and also helping usher in some much cooler air. As we look at the radar and satellite, you can see a lot of cloud cover. Expect mostly cloudy skies for the rest of the day. Looking downtown overcast with some uh, shower activity. Temperature now 39 degrees, but look at the winds out of the west at 43 miles per hour. Wow, this morning we were well into the 50s. Some of you were in the 60s, and now at the airport we're in the 30s. 41 in Niagara Falls, 39 in Buffalo, 43 for Dunkirk, 42 in Jamestown. Still in the 50s for Bradford, Cuttersport, and Wellsville, but colder air is knocking on your doorstep. You look at the forecast wind gusts for the rest of the day. You're going to see winds will diminish, and by 5 p.m. we're looking at winds gusting around 30 miles per hour, and then. Uh, overnight winds will be much lighter so light winds and chilly temperatures overnight as far as the power outages are concerned we have the risk across the area you heard katie mention about 8600 people or you know uh, uh, businesses or homes uh, affected in erie county even a better chance for some power outages across wyoming county here's your hourly forecast temperatures near 40 right now we'll be in the mid to upper 40s this afternoon with strong winds and cooler temperatures again through around 2 p.m we still have those winds gusting 50 to 60 miles per hour. Tonight's partly to mostly cloudy skies, partly sunny on Saturday. Sunday, more rainfall. Expect showers across the area on Sunday. And then as we get into Monday, what? Yeah, snow. Early Monday morning could see some snow showers to start our day. Your forecast then for today. Strong winds, falling temperatures. We're in the 40s. Winds out of the southwest, 20 to 40 miles per hour, gusting near 60 right now. And they're going to stay that way for the next hour or two. Tonight, you'll find overnight lows in the mid-30s, mostly cloudy cloudy and chilly this evening. Winds will be light out of the southwest. Tomorrow, we're in the mid-50s with some uh, morning clouds coming afternoon sunshine. Sunday, mid-50s with rain showers likely. Monday, mid-40s, partly cloudy after a few flakes to start the day. 60s on Tuesday, back in the 50s on Wednesday and Thursday.